Hi, I'm Jarrett, and I'm a youth outreach worker for the Canadian Mental Health Association in our youth outreach program, otherwise known as U Group. And this is Laura. Hey, I'm Laura. I'm Jarrett's co worker um, with Canadian Mental Health Association and U Group. So we're here today to attempt a podcast for one thing and to also hopefully let you know a little bit about what we do, why we do it, and why you and anyone you know should come and see us. Excellent. So I'm going to talk a little bit of where you group came from and why we chose to stick with that. So after a little bit of time, we were trying to figure out what we would call a program and we brainstormed and had uh, lots of conversations. Over lots of, lots of bad, bad, terrible names. <laughs> don't, you don't want to know. Um, and then, like, event, like, I don't know, at least a dozen that I can think of. Like, you really can't remember. No, so okay. I think I blocked them out of my memory on purpose. <laughs> I think that's really how bad, bad they were. Like, they were bad. It's, and it's been a while. It's been over three years, I think, yeah. that we've this, talked this, about this. This was like pre-COVID when we started talking about this idea. Yeah. Oh, so. yeah. It's been a while. So, yeah, we came up with you. Um, we had started mm -hmm. chatting a little bit about circles and what circles mm -hmm. meant to the program. And we had to evolve and grow as things changed in our community. And we yeah. kind of came, we stumbled across the letter U and what that meant. So, like, U for all of you, U for Youth Outreach, whatever that looks like. But you, as far as a letter that always has an opening or the ability to join into a into a circle, into yep. a group, so anyone can fit at any time, come and go. There's lots of opportunities, to, like forever changing. So that's mm. kind of where the you came from, and yep. we stuck with it, and it's kind of yeah. now an umbrella for our youth outreach yeah. program. Yeah, because originally it was just going to be like a one night drop in kind of program thing, but again, COVID happened, and we had to reorganize everything half a dozen times at least. Um, and then eventually, um, Laura came back not too long ago and I was thinking, you know, saying Canadian Mental Health Association, Colchester East Hans Branch Youth Outreach Program is a little bit of a mouthful. Just, I don't know, try saying it three times fast at home and you'll get what I mean. It's a lot. It's yeah. intimidating. Yeah. So <laughs> we decided to make it U-Group and that's where we are today. So... And what exactly we do is quite a bit. So um, with COVID, everything kind of changes. So keep in mind what I'm saying right now could be completely different in two weeks. Uh, but typically we perform outreach as the biggest goal. So we cover Colchester, East Hans, and Cumberland counties. So, county, so anywhere between Elmsdale to Amherst, we can go. And we can provide various supports by one-on-one -on -one conversations, uh, grocery runs, transportation to doctor's appointments, transportation to other important things like uh, legal services or even like after-school programs if there's a right condition for it, uh, anything like that. Uh, we can also provide a lot of after-school programs and drop-ins and such, which is what we focus on right now just because of COVID and makes it a little easier. So we're trying to bring everything back in-house, but we will sometimes do online stuff. Um, I'll let Laura, you can tell some of the after-school stuff. Yeah, after-school. So we are here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday for in-house or outreach. It just depends. But Tuesday night, we're doing a drop-in right now um, after school. And then Wednesday's Rec and Leisure, Thursday's D&D. &D. So these ages, ages that we support are 12 to 24. Mm -hmm. So it's a vast, vast age yeah. on their journey yeah. to adulthood. <laughs> yeah, quite, quite the range. And it's new too. So until recently, we were just high school focused. But now we cover the, in, not the entire, but almost the entire range of what is considered youth in this day and age. Yeah, so we'll work with the youth one-on-one -on -one or in groups and help them navigate resources in the community. Um, sometimes mm -hmm. we have family chats too, um, yeah. just to get everyone on the same page or... Yeah. find that one thing that they that, want to look forward to doing on a weekly basis or monthly basis yeah. um, to get connected with yeah. your family or yeah. relatives, and, friends, etc. Yeah, and I feel like that's a good time to segue into the important key thing, which is we are not counselors, we are not uh, therapists, yes. 
you're not psychologist or psychotherapist or doctors or <laughs> any fancy thing where you need a fancy degree of the master's and you have doctor in front of your name. We are not any of those things. Right. We know where the resources are in yeah. our community and we're able to share those with you or your family member um, to make sure you can yeah. find the proper resources um, to yeah. make sure you get the care you need. Yeah. So basically in terms of conversations, like if if there's a teenager or young adult who's having like a general bad day, um, their relationship ended, school is hard, um, mom and dad grounded them for some reason, um, and they just want to come vent about that, they can. But when it comes to more like severe things like trauma related incidents or diagnosing mental illness or directly treating that mental illness, we can't really do a whole lot. So usually, like Laura said, we'll refer to somewhere else, the hospital or maybe... Uh, An appropriate setting. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah. With the, so you can tell I'm good at this with the brain fart. You can, you can tell. You can just tell right there. Um, Look, where I feel going? like we shared so much information uh, in a very short time. Yeah, I don't... Maybe too quickly. I don't monologue this much. Um... Yeah, so after school programs, there we go, that's what I was going to talk about. Mm -hmm. So our biggest, most longest running one, which you may know as far as Dungeons and Dragons. So it's sometimes otherwise referred to as sword and sorcery, but it is a drop-in night uh, where people can come and play the game Dungeons and Dragons. And for those of you who don't know, D&D is a role-playing game where, well, the short answer is it's basically like playing Lord of the Rings you get to be a part of the movie and you get to be a fantasy person casting spells slaying dragons all of that stuff but it's also a lot more than that um you, a lot of teens but no matter what their background is like they're at the age where they're trying to find themselves and role playing is a good place for them to find themselves so if they're a really quiet kid at home and they don't like to talk a lot but they might come to D D and be like I'm a like 300 pound like uh, like jacked ox ox man and I can murder things with my bare hands because deep down I wish I could be a really like muscular person like Dwayne Johnson off the Fast and the Furious movies which you know I wish I could be like even a tenth as strong as him but you know what can you do um so yeah there's a lot of that and there's a lot so a lot of confidence building too so we have youth who have come in and they literally will not say two words you'll say hello and they'll just if you're lucky look slightly in your direction for a moment and we've had people like that over years hit the point where they can suddenly start not only talking but like running these groups running these tables and when you're doing that you have to talk all the time like non-stop it's basically yeah. you are always in the spotlight you're always being asked questions you're always making sure that people don't literally or figuratively argue with each other over silly rule semantics in this game. But yeah, it, it's crazy how much change you can see in any teenager just from this, no matter what their background is. Yeah, the awareness and self-confidence. It's, yeah. really, it's yeah. really interesting to see. I don't always per participate or supervise mm -hmm. Dungeons & Dragons, but to see youth come in on day one versus... Yeah, and there's months down the road it's, it's pretty incredible to change and there's a lot of like stigma against it too like even when i was in high school 10 12 ish years ago um like i i'm a huge nerd i've always been a nerd um yeah they're both vin diesel is all our camera lady just said vin diesel is in fast and the furious and they're actually both in it if you watch the later movies so I did not mix my, I did not mix my actors up. Thank you very much. That is a fair statement. It's not the same without Paul Walker though. That that's that's my opinion on that. Anyway, um, back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I was a huge nerd. Um, I'm still a huge nerd, but I was a huge nerd in high school too. When I didn't feel like it was okay to be a nerd. And even though I wasn't hiding the nerd and I was like in the nerd section of the social hierarchy, whether you consider that good or bad, um, I avoided Dungeons and Dragons in high school like the plague because there was just this stigma around it. Whereas even being a nerd myself, even playing other games like Magic the Gathering and role-playing games on video, video games on Nintendo and 
PlayStation and stuff like that, I just didn't want that association with me. But now helping this program and running it, which I started doing through work, like I really regret that because I think about how much it's helping all the teenagers now and how much it probably could have helped me get to this point or even a sooner or even a point ahead of that. So. Right. Right. Yeah. But anyway, that's enough of me monologuing. You want to talk about our other programs? <laughs> I can't talk about our other programs. So right now, Tuesday night, uh, we're doing a drop-in. Um, so that's open for all ages at this point. Um, that may change based on COVID regulations or number of people that attend. Um, so drop in, safe split, safe, p huh? Holy. That's not, safe. that's the beanbag chair, not me, I swear. <laughs> oh yeah, drop in, yeah, drop in, safe space, come hang out, meet people, get connected with resources if necessary. There's games, there's beanbag chairs that make funny noises. Um, You're not going to tell them about the wreck? I will tell them about the wreck. Okay. There's internet for drop-in. What other things do we do for drop-in? Uh, there are necessities here, basic necessities. Um, we, obviously not shelter. However, mm -hmm. food, we water. Have, we have lots of board resources. games. Resources. We have lots of board games for our drop-ins, lots of video games. We just recently got a Nintendo Switch and even more recently have been allowed to use it now that we're not in lockdown, so that's nice. <laughs> yeah, um, that's fair. Also, we also, for our older groups, not the younger ones, you have to be at least 18 years old, but we played Cards Against Humanity in the past and stuff like that. So definitely some more interesting board games to play with people. Create for the creative minds. So yeah. That's good. Um, but yeah, drop-in is really for anybody. Uh, Wednesday evenings, Rec and Leisure. Um, right now we've been utilizing um, the rec space up at the East Link Rath Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, swimming has mm -hmm. been very popular. Uh, Wednesday evenings, any rec and leisure activity, we're pretty open yep. and flexible. Yep. Um, the pool's been popular. Rumor yep. has it the rock wall is going to be opening yeah. soon. We, um, yeah, because we have access to the entire rec center with all that. So yeah, we're pretty fortunate for that partnership. Yeah. So shout out to them, which is excellent. Um, but yeah, so that's flexible. We might look at a few things at Victoria Park this mm -hmm. winter. Yep. We'll see. Movie nights. Yep. Rec and Leisure can really be... Ba basically, whatever open. our imagines are, whatever the team's imagines are. Yeah, it's split, so... So if they, yeah, so if they come to us saying they want a movie night, we do a movie night. If they come to us saying they want more Dungeons & Dragons, which happens every time there is a week off of Dungeons & Dragons, let alone a <laughs> lockdown, <Yeah>. um, <laughs> then we play more Dungeons & Dragons. So it's all, all about that dialogue between us and them. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, and even during lockdowns, we, we change, but we don't stop. So we do a lot of online groups and supports then. So we have a discord, um, hopefully our camera lady, Sam can put a link to that in the description to wherever this gets posted. I don't know where that's going to happen, <laughs> but we do that. Um, we also have professional Facebooks, so you can find our professional Facebooks, our, our first names, Laura and Jarrett, and then our last names are CMHA. And we just make that so it's real simple. You you know it's us. You know where we work. We're not trying to be cryptic. Yeah. Um, we also have an Instagram. Uh, do you see MHA Youth Outreach? No, I just no, changed it to U Group. U Group. See, I'm behind my own times now. Um, anyway, we'll have all this hopefully in the description underneath when it's posted, so you can follow us on anything you like. Um, yeah. But yeah, the point is we do our best to stay connected with everyone, uh, even during times of lockdown. Yeah. And we're always adapting to the changes. Not not just with COVID. COVID is definitely a more intense series of changes. But even before that, like the youth program, what it was when I started uh, four years ago, about four years ago, is not the same as it was right before COVID. Like even that gap of two and a half ish years was very different. So. Yeah. yeah. I mean, now you all have a chance to see our faces and know what we yeah. do. You might see us out in community with other partnerships that we have um, youth focused and mm -hmm. if there's anything that we if you are interested in and you think we could help you out just let us know yeah. connect with us on whatever link we can provide from here yeah and we're hoping to do more of these in the future but this one is just basically say hi <laughs> give us the rundown maybe in the future we'll talk about more stuff again if you have anything you want us to talk about you know let us know in what comments or calling us or whatever. 
whatever floats your boat. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, I don't know. Um, <laughs> don't give me that look. We have lots of fun in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, if you want to see her give me a hard time for my weird choice in wordings, please follow us and come back again next whenever it's going to be. Bi-weekly, monthly, we'll figure it out. I work with them every day. We're good. Yeah, but I have to work with her. If one of us isn't here next time, you know why. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. All right. Cheers.